Cool. Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to this week's update video, I think. Um, so there's not actually much to show you this week. So, um, I mean, I have been busy, but it's just boring. That's kind of the problem. Um, here, take a look. So between the, the color management refactoring work, which is just a whole bunch of code, and the uh, new version release with all of these bug fi fixes that are going in. I mean, I could talk about the bug fixes, but uh, I, may, I wanted to save that for kind of like when we make the release and I can say all of the things that we fixed and how much more stable Inkscape is now, but... Uh, uh, oh, I know. I've been doing a template for my for my daughter. Um, so the, she got one of these things which is a piece of paper that's folded in a specific way. Um, and it's called a zine. And uh, the way it works is you, you, you can very quickly print off single-sided sheets. Uh, you make one cut in the middle, and then you fold them around like that, and you get this eight-paged booklet. Um, that is a sort of like really cute way of uh, doing comics and things. And I thought, you know what? That's exactly the kind of thing that Inkscape can do. And so, of course, I did a search on online for an SVG version of that te template, and uh, I, I found one. Um, but it was kind of m manual. Like, it, it kind of expected you to do all of the things upside down. Now, the reason why this comes up is because uh, when, I, when I took my daughter to the Boston Comics Expo, um, she met one of her favorite authors from a book series, a series called Adventure Zone. And... It, the, the the author, they had such a cute uh, hug and everything, and, and the author got her to promise that she the next time she came to the expo, she would make her own zine. And uh, being a good dad, I, I said, you know what? We can do this on the computer. Uh, we can make it easy. And so, uh, yeah, I, I, I made a template, which you can see here. In fact, let's, uh, let's, zoom, let's zoom you guys in so you can see. Uh, ho hopefully that fo focuses okay. So the, the idea behind this template is that uh, you have the, the, the printable piece here. That's the actual thing you print out or export to a PDF file. But then you have uh, each of the eight sides, the eight pages that you actually get in, in the zine. Um, I, did, I did think about uh, maybe you could print on both sides of the paper, but actually it turns out that you can't. Um, because the folds are actually what keeps the thing together. So you, you, you can only really print on one side. So apart from that, that restriction, um, I decided, you know what? I'm going to use clones and I'm going to organize the clones so that you can very easily, uh, paint onto these eight page pages. And then you can basically just print this out with no manual um, positioning or flipping or anything required. Let, let me give, give you a, a demonstration. Oh. Well, I'd give you a demonstration, but my USB bus keeps on uh, freaking out. Just going to unplug my phone. Okay, let's try a demonstration again. Um, so say if I use the pencil tool and I want to draw something on the first page, right? You'll notice that uh, it immediately shows you an, an item on the first page, which is good. Now, if I draw something on the second page, say I want it to appear at the bottom of the second page, you can actually see that it appears at the top of the print sheet, right? That's because all of these eight pages are actually ha are cloned and placed in the correct place and flipped uh, on the print sheet. So much so that when you start moving things around, you can actually see them disappearing and reappearing in a kind of weird, freaky way, which is a lot of fun. Uh, and of course, because of the new multi-page tool, you can actually export each one of these separate pages as well. Um, and you also get margins, which is good. If you, if you notice on this example page, um, the margins are a little bit off, and that's because I think it's quite hard to print out uh, a zine with, with, with margins that will take account of the printer and also uh, allow you to, to space out your pages. So yeah, I added margins to each of the pages. Um, and then I added a little cut mark so you know what, what to cut and some little fold, fold instructions so you know basically how to fold it once you've got it cut out. Um, and, and yeah, what I'll do is uh, I'll see now if my daughter can produce her own zine. 
Um, you know, maybe I will get her to uh, post it and you guys can have fun. If you're interested in this template, I'm going to post it online. And um, yeah, I think I think that's it for this week's update. I know it's not technical. You can let me know in the comments below uh, if you want me to get into the boring stuff. Um, but uh, thank you to all of my sponsors. Um, basically, the, I have a bunch of people who... Uh, let's get me positioned in. I have a bunch of people online who pay for my time to work on Inkscape, even the boring stuff. Uh, and I think that's important because uh, not everything that you do in pro programming can be exciting. Uh, some of it just has to be grind of basically programming the thing in the right way and not rushing. Um, and hopefully this will all pay off when we finally get the color management support all done and you guys can all test, and test, test it and it will be uh, consistent. That's, that's the, the through line I'm trying to aim for is that the color stuff should be consistent. And obviously the 3.1, 1.3.1 uh, release should also be good. Uh, and hopefully the, the stability in that will really make it uh, something that you can continue to, to use for, for a long time. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you all for watching this update. And hopefully I will see you all next week. Yeah, okay. Bye.